Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Hi guys! So, um, coming on, it's Sunday and I'm making chicken marsala for dinner tonight. It's around 3.45 in the afternoon and I'm starting now, I actually started earlier cutting up all the chicken and cutting up all the mushrooms and everything because I just wanted to get done before. You know, this is something you have to start a couple hours beforehand because it takes a, it takes a, it's a, it's a process, you know. So I just have the chicken in here now, the first batch of chicken. Then I have another smaller batch I'm going to put in here um, and get cooking. As soon as I do that, I'll put the, I'll take the chicken out and I'll put the mushrooms in with the oil and the garlic. Get all that together and have that. I'm going to have it all done within within an hour. This way, it's all done and ready for dinner tonight, and I don't have to fret and run around like a crazy woman at um, later on at dinner time. I want to eat fairly early, like 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock the latest, because it's Sunday, and I just like to eat earlier on Sundays. And yeah, so that's what I'm making, guys. Let's see if it's getting a little brown. I'm going to raise the flame just a little bit, because I think it needs to get up a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it. I'm probably going to make white rice for everybody except me, of course. And um, maybe I'll make some cauliflower rice for me. I have a head of, of cauliflower, but I just don't feel like cutting that up and making it into rice. So I'll probably just use the instant that I have. And that's probably what we'll make. And I'll make a vegetable. Not sure what vegetable yet, though. Not sure what I have in there. I gotta check and see. All right, guys, I'm going to start turning these over now. They're getting a little cooked there, getting it around. I don't want them too brown. I want them lightly brown. Now, I don't. I put a little bit of olive oil and I put butter in here. That's what I saute this these in, and they're lightly floured, guys. Regular flour, no almond flour or anything like that. Just regular, no breadcrumbs. Just a little bit of um, regular flour and I did them, I um, put them in water. I didn't baste them with egg this time because I want to save on the calories. So there's no need for the egg. The egg makes it a little bit richer, but it's fine. Because I have butter in here and that's, so that's the, you know, I have real butter and that's, so that's, you know, calorie high enough. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a couple of these pieces out that are on the thinner side. I don't want them to overcook, and this is going to cook a little bit longer in the um, in the sauce. Okay, so the thick ones I'm going to leave it a little bit longer, but the thinner ones can come out. And um, I sent my husband to the store this morning to get Marcel, to get Marcella wine, and they didn't have any. So I got the white white cooking wine instead, which is you know it won't have that strong Marcella taste, but It'll still be good. It'll be delicious with that um, white wine. Um, has all the other stuff in it, so it'll be fun. It'll be a little bit different, but I don't know. They didn't have it, so next time I go to Walmart, I gotta check it out and get it there because even the lady told my husband at the um, at shop right where he went that they haven't had it in a while. So I don't know if it's the COVID or what the heck is going on. But next time I go to Walmart, if I see it, I'm gonna buy like uh, like two or three bottles because I love that and that's really good with this. You know, it makes this. But it'll be fine. I said I don't want this to overcook because it's chicken breast. You know how that goes, guys. want a nice color on it at all. Well. You don't want it like dark brown, black. You want it to have a nice brown color. Look yummy. All right, guys, so this is the ones that are done. Look at that color. That's so, looks so yummy. Nice and golden brown. Can't really see it with the light on. The light off so but there's a glare so um I want to keep it off so you guys you guys can see it's 
So guys, comment down below what you guys are doing for dinner tonight. Um, I am obviously making this and comment down below how your weather is today. Today it's kind of, yesterday it was beautiful. Yesterday was a gorgeous, breezy day. Warm, but not so bad. Today is cloudy. Temperature's okay, it's like not humid. So that's not bad. But it's cloudy, it's probably gonna rain later, I think. Yeah, so that's the kind of day we're having here in upstate New York. Just hanging out today, guys. I had a kind of a mushy day yesterday for the 9-11, but we got through it and, you know, so it's such a sad, somber day. Something you never forget. You never forget, you know, it's even though you know, September 11th is, of course, the worst day of it, but um, I don't know about you guys, but it always comes up in my head, maybe because I live in New York, I don't, I don't know, it always comes up in my head um, all year around, um, you know, just a little, it'll, it'll never go away, it's such a tragedy for the, the United States of America, never mind New York, um, those bastards, excuse me, am I supposed to say that, am I allowed to say that? Ooh. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> um, well, I'm sorry, that's just how I feel. Uh, I'm sure everybody feels that way. Anyway, everybody gets what they deserve when they meet their maker, and that's, that's all I have to say. And um, God bless all the people who lost their lives, everybody. And God bless all the survivors, you know, involved and not involved, in, you know, directly. Um, that's it. That's all I have to say about that. Anyway. So, yeah, so this is what I'm making. These are going to be done in a few minutes. And then um, I'm going to put the, some little bit of more olive oil and butter into the frying pan. And I'll put some garlic and I'll put the mushrooms in, saute them, and get all that done. There's no onions in this meal, just just mushrooms and fresh garlic and, um, and the wine. Let me show you the, the wine that I got. See, I got this cooking wine same thing, they're the same. The same. Um, but like I said, usually I get Marsala because Marsala is just more of a dark, rich, a rich wine. Um, it just goes better. I mean, not that it goes better, but it's just, it's a different flavor. It definitely is a different flavor. But this will be just as good. This will be like a Marsala, but just a, a lighter Marsala, a white wine Marsala. That's all. So this pan here, I always have to keep on the highest flame because it's um it's so like non-stick that you have to have the highest flame, otherwise it doesn't cook all the way. Not that it doesn't cook all the way, it doesn't cook um you know, it doesn't give it give it um a brown color. So I'm just moving everything around. And this pan is so big it hardly fits on my on the burner, you know, it's so big. So Yep, so that's what's happening. All right, guys, I'm giving these a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna take these off because I don't want them to overcook. I'd rather them be a little bit undercooked because like I said, they're gonna cook in the, in the sauce for five, 10 minutes and I don't want to overcook them. So, as long as I got a little bit of color on them, this is what I'm looking for right here. This beautiful brown color. Ow. That off now. There is a lot of oil in here already. So I'm just going to put a little bit more oil, not a lot, and a little bit, another little piece of butter. This is not a diet recipe, guys. It's not, you know, pretty heavy on the, the stuff. So once in a while, you can do that. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the flame just a little bit. Probably, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna put the mushrooms in and then see because I want the mushroom to cook. The mushroom to cook at a high heat just as much as the chicken because I want them to get kind of caramelized and brown. Okay, I have three packages of the mushrooms cut up. I cut them up already in halves. Um, yeah, so my husband goes to the store for me, you know, to saute a little bit, and then I'm gonna add garlic in it. My husband goes to the store this morning for me because I didn't get this all these ingredients. I didn't know I was going to make this. So I, I had the chicken, but I needed another pack of chicken for another reason. 
Um, so I had him get, he was going to get the chicken and the wine sauce and everything. And um, so I had him go and get me that stuff. And so he, he calls me and he goes, do you want the mushrooms that are already sliced or the mushrooms that are, you know, are just whole? So when I was making the list out, it was funny because I said to myself, you know what, if I'm gonna get, just get the, I'm gonna get the, the sliced mushrooms. And I said, nah, I'll, I'll just get the whole. So I put down, I just put down, yeah, I think I did put down whole mushrooms. So he called me and he said, you want me to get the whole mushrooms or the sliced? And I said, I want, I really want the whole, but what, what's the difference in, but if they have the sliced, I'll get the sliced because it is easier. You don't have to sit there and slice them. Ow, my back is killing you guys. It's really, really bad last couple of days. Um, so he said, well, I said, well, how much are they? What, what's the difference? Because a lot of times those, the ones that are cut are more money than the other ones. So he said, oh, the ones that you don't, that the, the, the buttons, are three ninety nine a package, and the other ones, I'm sorry, the buttons are dollar sixty nine a package, and and the sliced ones were three ninety nine a package. I'm like, are you for real? No, get the buttons. Thank God I told them that four dollars four dollars for a container. Seriously, people? Oh my God! I was like, are you kidding me? So I'm so glad I had to get the buttons. He got three packs of the buttons, and I don't care. If it takes me an extra 10 minutes to sit there and slice them up. If it's the same price, or maybe 10, 20, even a dollar more I would pay, but not $2 more. Three ninety four dollars for a package? Crazy. I mean, really, come on. Is there gold wrapped around those friggin' mushrooms? Uh, tell me, guys. So a tip when you cook mushrooms, I don't know if you know this, but when you're making mushrooms, um, if you want to brown, um, if you want them to get a little browned, you know, and a little caramelized, do not put salt on them while they're cooking. Wait till they're all brown and stuff because the, the, um, as soon as you put salt on it, it, it creates moisture and that makes water because mushrooms have a lot of water in them to begin with. So it'll just bring out more moisture and then you'll have, they'll be like, they'll be like stewing, you know, like boiling, not, not frying. So that's just a little tip. You guys didn't know. So I'm going to let these saute another two, three minutes. Then I'm going to season them up. And I'll put the chicken back in. I'm going to probably get a little bit of uh, chicken broth. I think I have regular chicken broth, not the bouillons. I have the bouillons, but I think I have regular chicken broth I'm going to put in here too. Now, what I put in my marsala is butter, which you already know. I'll probably put another piece of butter in here, guys. Once all the sauce is in there, it's just, it's a little, there's, a, there's a lot of butter on this, okay? Lots of butter. Butter, butter, butter. Um, so I'll put another piece of butter in. I will put, i uh, squeeze a lemon in it. Always put lemon in my, in my um, Marsala and um, the wine and some chicken broth, guys. The more juice, the better. It has to sit in the juice for a good five, 10 minutes and then I shut it off, leave it in there and let it just sit. Oh, it's so good. The meat is so tender, guys. It's like something with the flour just moistens it and it makes it so, so good. You saute it in the butter. It's delicious, guys. This is a really, really good meal. I don't make it often because it's a backbreaker. You know, kind of a backbreaker, especially when the back's hurting already. It's a backbreaker, but I don't care. Um, it's worth it. It's really, really good. And I wanted to make it for my family today. So that's what I'm doing, guys. Now, guys, um, these are sauteing. Now look at all that water. Look at all that water that it gave out and I didn't even put any, you see the water? I didn't even put any seasonings on it yet. That's why it's so important to not put any salt because salt will just bring out more of the water and then you'll have it, you know. They did brown somewhat. And you know, I did have a lot of olive oil and well butter in here. So it kind of did make it like that too. That's kind of that too, but, but no, I like the way they look. Now I'm gonna put some garlic in here. Now, this garlic that I bought, I bought the minced garlic from ShopRite. No, not ShopRite. Um, I got my hair. From Walmart. Last time I got it, I got that big jar from, from Sam's, and I like it better. This one, I didn't realize, but it's in water. It's um, garlic in water, which I'm not really crazy about. I'd rather it be in olive oil or just oil, but this is the one I got. So I'm not going to, I don't want all that water in there. So I'm just going to. Try to take some of it out. Although the water's going to be fine anyway now because it's going to be, um, 
it needs to be moist anyway. So I'm going to put this garlic in, mix this up a little bit. Ooh, guys, if you had smell a vision, if you had smell a vision. And the more garlic, the better, guys. Mm. Now I'm going to give it a little seasoning. Oh, guys, it smells so freaking good. This is a great meal to make like when you're having company and you want to impress somebody because you really don't, it's really, I mean, it's, you know, it's not really that much work. And it's such a great, delicious meal and so easy to make that like people think, ooh, she made, she made chicken marcel. Wow. So I'm putting parsley in, some pepper, some salt. I do have fresh parsley somewhere in my, Refrigerator. Guys, I didn't see it when I was cleaning out my refrigerator the other day. So I don't know. It's probably hiding in there somewhere. Some garlic. And I'm not going to put any onion in there. Onion powder, which I always use. This meal, I'm not going to put in. Right. Plenty of garlic. It's got plenty of garlic in there. Let's get this mixed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Mm, Smell the garlic. Once you smell the garlic, guys, that means that the garlic is fragrant enough where the garlic is starting to cook now. So I don't want the garlic to um, burn or anything like that. So I'm going to put the, the wine in. Now I'm going to use two bottles. You think that's a lot? It's not a lot because it eats up, it soaks up. The chicken and the mushrooms soak up a lot of the juice. And one thing about chicken marsala is the most important thing is to have a lot of juice. Very delicious like that. Otherwise, it's dry. You don't want it to be dry. So, got one bottle. Now, this is, now I'm cooking for six people, and by, and, um, 16 ounces, each one is 16 ounces, and I'm, I'm making, um, a little bit extra because we like it left over, and to me, if I'm going to make it, I'm going to make a big thing of it, and we'll have it left over. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about it. If I was two people, then I would make half of this, less than half. But I'm not two people, so. I'm gonna let this come to a simmer for just like five minutes, and then I'm gonna put the chicken in, guys. It's gonna be yummy. All right, guys, so see, it's, it's just like simmering. This is when I wanna put the chicken in. Okay, the chicken, like I said, is gonna cook in here about 10 minutes. And this is why I love this freaking pan. Usually, the pan that I have, you know, I'm shoving it in, and it's like overflowing, and I have to take some sauce out. But this pan is awesome, guys. I love it. So everything's gonna fit nicely in here. And the meat is gonna, the chicken is gonna soak. And after I get the chicken in, I'm going to put a little piece of butter in this. Always put it towards the end because it gives it a little bit of thickness. So this is gonna be nice. Just try to push it in so you get all that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it up and let it simmer here. So sit in that chair. Yeah, sit in that chair, Jen. Jenny's coming in and she wants to show you guys her giraffe picture that she started to paint, guys. All right, so let's cover this. Alexa, set the timer for five minutes. I'm going to lower just a little bit. Five let it simmer for five minutes. And then I'm going to lower it. And I'll take the top off of it a little bit because I don't want it to overcook. Here she is, Miss America. Hi, guys. Come on, I can't see my face. I know, I'm trying to fix it. Okay. Hi, guys. Nice Look to at see her sunburn, again. guys. Come closer. I want to see your sunburn. Here, wait. She went yesterday, okay, guys, on her first outing. <sighs> and we have the lotion on her. Can't, can't, yeah, there, 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 there. Hi, got, guys. Her face got Let's all red, again. guys. But she, my feet got tired. Yeah, tell them what you did yesterday. I went to the M Montgomery Day, and we, it was a craze there, and they throw candy at, at us. Uh, I need, like, some they throw candy at us, and, um, yeah, they throw candy at us, and we got some stuff, and... We walked around a little while and looked some stuff there. And then after that, we went to, they had a little carnival over there at that little park thing. 
and I walked all the way there. We walked all the way, walked around, and we went to walk back to the van. She came home, guys, and she was pooped. She was so yeah, tired. Yeah, right? people were tired. My she leg was hurting a little was bit. So tired, but she had fun, right? Yeah, and I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go next Saturday. Next Saturday, tell them where you're going next Saturday. Next Saturday at the Bear Mountain Zoo. The Bear Mountain Zoo, and then the Saturday after that. After that, it'll be is at, the apple picking. Apple already? Apple picking? It's not even October yet. I know, but that's when. Well, it'll be closer to October, yeah. Yeah, and then and then rough, rough. I think we might do more activities on, on October. Yeah, you're gonna do more activities. This is what they used to do, guys. They would do activities every Saturday. They can't you know, see you. Yeah, I know. They can hear me. Yeah. Um, and so it's starting back up again. But she did say that even though they were outside, they had to wear their masks, which to me I don't understand. Yeah. I don't but understand. I did pull my mask down. Rob said it was okay. To they were outside in the up. heat and they had to wear the mask. Huh. That's ridiculous. It was okay to put it down. I know, but I don't understand why you had to wear it when you were outside. All the time I was all the whole time I was I put it down the whole time. Oh you did? Yeah, oh, I okay. did. You didn't tell me but the rest of my friends, like Stephen uh, Matthews. Some people kept he it had, on. He didn't have any he didn't have a mask on. Oh, okay. But all right, show them what you do, what you made. Look at Jenny's giraffe eyes. I, I don't know if you showed picture. them before, Eddie. I'm going to show the picture. First. Show the picture of what you're doing. <laughs> Guys, she's doing so good at this. This is the little giraffe she's doing. It's, it's so a rainbow. Cute. It's going to look like a rainbow Now, giraffe. show them what you did so far. She's doing so great. I filled in a little bit of the little, just a little um, spots, guys. Go back mm -hmm. a little bit. I can't. Go back a little bit. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Uh, no, Frank. Look, see guys how pretty? She's doing such a great job, isn't she? Yeah. Awesome. All right, we'll be back in a second. I show them. All right, guys, so she wants to show you the next one that she's doing. One she has to finish the first one first, and then she's going to um, start with the unicorn one. She's going to show you. And um, I already shut the chicken off. It's just sitting in there. Um, it is sitting in there, you know, just hanging out. Um, I'm going to make rice with it, probably, like I said. And I'm going to go soon in a few minutes. I'm going to cut this, end this video, and then come back in about an hour when I have it all ready, okay, and I'll show ready? you my plate and everything. Ready. Yeah, show, show them what you're doing. You. Can they see it? Want me to hold it up? I think you better hold it up. This is the next project she's doing, guys. Okay, you can't see it. Isn't it adorable? gonna be so cute i tell you these paint by numbers are so great and they're fun they really are they're so much fun where's mine go get mine so I can oh, mine. where did you it's put right it on the table on the little coffee table but show them um, the paint all right i'll show them the paint you go get mine this is the paint that goes with the it has unicorn a one um it's great because it comes with everything they're really not even expensive i mean you could get one from eight dollars to five dollars to thirty five dollars you know it depends on what you get but um they have all kinds of stuff right on amazon we just order them um it's great love it you know just keep busy and we have adult coloring books too it's outside that we use too but i get a little bored with that here and there so i wouldn't paint so yes yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun do you see mine so i'm doing um you got my picture too yeah i'm doing flowers and um, I still have a little bit on the other one that I have. I showed you guys that one that my friend Jerry Ellen from um, Cooking with Neighbors sent me. I still have that one. I have a tiny bit left on that that I have to finish. Mm. And then I'll show you guys once that's all done. I started that like three months ago. And I have, I have a little bit left. But this is going to be mine. As I showed you guys. It's going to be really pretty. And so, so far, this is what I got. <laughs> it looks like nothing. It looks like a, a map. So yeah, so it's gonna be is it upside down? Yeah, I have it upside down. Yeah. Oh boy. Upside down. Mom? There you go. It's gonna be really, really pretty guys. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So that's oh, our in here. Okay. Who's in I think that one did hold on a second. Hold on a second. Alright guys. Sorry. There'll be something going on in the creative in the house. Um, all right, guys. So listen, I'm going to come back in a little while with the what's for dinner, with the chicken marsal and the whole plate and everything, guys. It smells so good in here. It's so It's going to be so yummy, guys. 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video, that thumbs up button if you like this video, hit the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. All right, guys, see you on the next video. Say bye to Jen. Bye, guys. Bye. See you on the next video.